Well, hello everybody. It's Mama Kelly. Um, I figured I'd make a video. It's been a while. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little tired right now, sleepy. I've been running since nine o'clock this morning, y'all. So just bear with me. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing okay. So I'm gonna give my shout outs to uh, Hawaii, Iowa, Ohio, the UK. Um, Tennessee, just everywhere, Detroit, east side, west side, and southwest side, but most of all, east side, because that's where I stay at now, and I love it, but anyways, I love all y'all, um, a lot has changed since the last video that I made, um, my granddaughter has moved out. And she's taking the baby with her, of course. And um, I'm not very happy about that. But something very troublesome happened here with her. And um, I just thought that it was best that she does that stuff elsewhere, not around me. And it had something to do with taking her own life. I'm just going to put it to you like that. And, um, it was very, very devastating for me. It, it brought back a lot of memories, um, I, trying to save a life and things like that. I just, you know, you guys, I've been through so, so much in the last, from 2017 up until now. I, I, it's time for me to just do me and to relax and to get me together. You know, I've been um, running around trying to get myself together to sign up for a, um, a vocation I want to take at Wayne County Community College I, that I did not know they had. Um, I have some other things on the table. Me and a, a friend of mine, she's, been, she's got like five years clean. And um, <clears throat> she, she made a comment to me about opening up three-quarter houses. And um, I've thought about that several times and for a long time. And it um, sounds like a good idea to me. However, I want to do some deep investigating as far as nonprofits and things of that nature because I don't want to start something that I can't finish. And I want to give it my all. And um, we have one property so far. I got to go Sunday and start painting rooms in there. Um, and we're thinking about getting a second property. But it's going to be a slow process because there's a lot of things that we don't know. And that we're going to reach out. And there are people that have... Um, volunteered their time to help us you know and i appreciate that so very much um i i've found a lot of resources and i continue to find resources it's amazing but anybody can do anything they put their mind to you know if it's positive and it's god's will he's gonna see you through it i already know that he showed me that many times um My grandbaby is getting big, my great-grandbaby, but I, I don't get to see her much because she lives back in Ohio. Um, there was an incident there, and um, my granddaughter is in jail right now, so um, she can sit there because she needs to sit there and think about what she did. I'm not going to say what she did. It's not none of nobody's business, but... She's been raised up to where she hasn't had to do anything for herself. She's been babied, sheltered. She doesn't know responsibility at all. And um, she needs to knock her head a couple times. I mean, I'm always going to be there for her. And there's nothing I won't do for her. But she has to learn because she has a baby to take care of, you know. And... She made that choice to have that baby, so now she has to step up to the plate. Um, I'm concerned 
with everything that's going on with that. But I've given it to God because I can't change it. There's nothing I can do about it. Just be there for her and make sure that Seven is taken care of. Um, I got to take the registries and all that down. She's got pretty much everything she needs. Um, <clears throat> she really doesn't need anything right now. Um, she's doing well. However, I already let her WIC coupons lapse. So we're having to buy formula, which is very expensive. It's like 80 something dollars a can. That's crazy. I don't remember that when my babies were little. But um, we're having to do that. And I mean, if I have to do that, I have to do that. And if I have to go without, I have to go without because I'm not going to see my grand my grandchildren starve or my grandbaby, my, my, my great grandbaby. Um, <clears throat> she kept two cats. And when she moved, she abandoned her two cats. She left them here for me to take care of. She put them outside, and now I can't bring them in the house because they have fleas. She brought them into the house. She brought Kylie into the house twice, and I told her, you can't do that and put it, put them back outside, and I feel bad about that, but now I have to uh, deflee Abby, and it's been uh, a journey doing that because she's not never had fleas. And she's freaking out, like, what's really going on? But she's starting to let me comb her with a fine-tooth comb, and she's starting to let me put her in the bathtub. And I just have to be real gentle and quiet. And I have to keep her inside the bathroom. If she jumps out the tub, we got to get back in the tub. But um, I just take my time with her and do what I can. It's not her fault, and it's not fair to her, and it's not fair to the other two cats outside. So I told my granddaughter, this is the second time I've told you, you're going to have to chip in on the cat food. I can't feed three cats. That was not the deal. I have one cat. Well, I told her I'm not, I'm not going to ask you anymore, so Monday I'm calling the Humane Society, and I am going to turn her in for abandoning her cats, and I'm going to give them her license plate on her car, and they can take it from there because that's cruelty to animals and I don't go for that. I don't like it. It hurts me. It hurts. I had to open my garage last night and the night before so that they could go in and get in some shelter because it was storming so bad. And um, I have stuff in my garage that I don't want stolen, but at the same time, I'm not going to leave them to innocent cats out in a tornado. So... I opened the garage for them, and um, everything's everything today. Hopefully, there'll be no more storms like that. But um, I want to get to something here. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't even know why I'm going to waste my breath on this, but I just have a few things to say. Frank Nitty, also known as Leland Marsh, Leland Marsh, also known as Frank Nitty, do me a favor. Keep my name out of your mouth because you know what? You're talking shit now. Now you're spitting on me. And I've never done that to you. Ever. So if you don't want your trash put out there, leave me alone. And that's this is the last, the first and only time I'm going to ask you this. Because I don't bother you. I don't spit on you. Stop spitting on me and lying on me. That's what you need to do. Leave Sarah and leave Raven to rest in peace. And by the, the way your videos sound towards Irv, I, I think you're a little jealous of Irv because of what he has. He has a job and things of that nature. And all that dirt that you say you've done as far as prostitutes and stuff, you've done it yourself. So why are you spitting on him? Find something else to talk about. Find some good content to talk about. Come on, now. I thought you were better than that, but I guess you ain't. Mm-mm-mm. But one thing I want to clarify with you, you said that Sarah worked the streets up until her last breath. That's a lie. A fucking lie. Sarah couldn't even walk and do nothing for herself for the last four to six months. So how did she do that? I did everything for her.
everything. Put her on the pot, get her down the stairs for dialysis. We didn't have a ramp. I had to do it the best way I knew how. So you don't know what you're talking about at all. Worry about your situation with your baby mama, okay? And your so-called marriage and your so-called being in the service and your, you know, you've got a record. I've got all kinds of info on you, but I'm not going to put it out here. I'm not like you. You're a dirty, low-down dog, L Lily. You are. You're wrong as hell. I ain't never disrespected you on YouTube. So, shut your mouth about me. Keep Sarah and Raven out of your mouth. And let them rest in peace, bro. Would you like for me to sit here and talk about your daughter that died? You wouldn't like that at all. No, because I'm not like that. I'm going to let that baby rest in peace. So shut it down, for real. Because if you don't, I'm going to put everything out there. And it's not pretty, at all. And I don't care what you say about me, because I know what I've been doing for the, for the past five years. And uh, I know who I am, and what I'm about, what I can do. And I don't get in trouble. I, don't, I stay out of trouble, and I try to reach every single small goal that I set. Those are my long-term goals. Remember that. I'm going to succeed. What it is, is you're jealous because I got out of that hell hole. And I haven't, I haven't failed. And I'm not going to fail. God's got my back. He has yours too. But you know what? You're walking on thin ice. So leave me alone. This is my one and only time I'm going to tell you this. Leave me alone. And I mean that, because you've lied on me, just nasty lies. You don't know shit about me, bro. Nothing. You think you do, but you don't. And me running off with money that, that I uh, owed you? Uh, I recall a time that uh, Tanya, your baby mama, came to my uh, bando, and you guys needed diapers, and I gave you $40 for diapers? Uh, yeah, I remember that. Because Tanya told you, ask Mama Kelly, she'll help us. Yeah, I will. But don't, don't disrespect me and lie on me, bro. I've done shit for you too. Now come on now. And we don't want to know how you made your money. Now, now let's, let's keep it on, on the low low here. But leave me the fuck alone. Now I'm not going to ask you again. Moving on to other things. Um... I'm getting ready to go to school. Like I said, um, they have a, a program I didn't know they had, which is a uh, big truck, truck driving school. And you do it in the classroom. They have it there on screen. You're literally, like you're driving, you're shifting gears, using brakes, all that. I want to do that, and I'm going to do that. But at the same time, I want to tap into some social work, learn how to write. Um, for grants and, and um, things like that, um, nonprofit organizations, I want to get into that because me and this young lady that I have become friends with, she's a very, very nice person, very open-minded, down to earth. We want to do this for ladies that are coming out of rehab and have nowhere to go. And I think that's an awesome thing to do. And, um, you know, it's not like we're trying to um, get them out of there and just throw them out to the wolves as far as getting a job and all that. No, they have, they're going to have choices as far as a job and education and things like that. But um, we've been making a format and it's coming along well. Um, I just want each and every girl that does come to us for help. To succeed that's all you know it, it can be done it's hard believe me it's hard but it can be done and everybody coming out of a rehab and I don't care what no one says everybody needs somebody to be in their corner I know that from experience so that's one of our main concerns and one of our main goals um, 
I wanted to, before I did the truck driving thing, I wanted to do the A&D counseling, which that I'm going to do online. And I am going to start very soon. But I can also do the truck driving thing as well. However, I want to focus everything that I have in my heart and in my mind on this A&D counseling certificate, whatever they give you from the state or whatever. I want to focus on this because it's important to me. You know, I need to learn skills. I need to learn how to, I need to learn things still. I'm not, I'm not done learning. I'll never be done learning. But I want to be able to help these girls in a positive way. And I don't want them to be afraid to, to put one foot in front of the other slowly. It's nothing, there, you can't do it fast because you'll fail. You have to take your time. And you have to have somebody in your corner you can trust. And me and my friend are going to earn the trust of these ladies. It's simple as that. And prayerfully, we'll have some, some of the women to succeed. Everybody's not going to succeed. It would be nice if they did, but everybody's not going to succeed. Hopefully, everything will just fall into place and it's going to be spiritually oriented. Um... God's going to be a part, but everybody has their own choice of who they, you know, their higher power is. I'm not, I'm not forcing anything on anybody because no one ever forced anything on me. And you can't do that. So everybody can make their choice of who their higher power is, but we have to have something to believe in. So that's where I'm at right now, people. Um, I do have a little... Um, business house cleaning business that i had started before covid and when covid came it just went down the drain but i'm starting to get some of my clients back just a few but it'll take time but i need that to make some money on the side to make these um, houses these halfway these three-quarter houses or whatever you want to call them come to fruition. That's what I want. So I'm going to do some fundraisers, me and my, my friend, we're going to do some fundraisers um, through a church and um, there's some more resources we have. We have some really good people behind us to help us with this. <clears throat> I am going to move from this big three bedroom house because my basement, you could have uh, rode in a boat down there the last two days. Everything in my basement that I put down there is ruined. Um, all my comforters, my sheets, all my bedding, all my jeans, my dirty clothes I had down there to in baskets to take to the laundromat, they're all, uh, everything's damaged. It's no good because the sewage backed up in the basement. So anyway, that being said, I'm not going to worry about that, though, because I can go to Alternatives for Girls and, and grab a couple pair of leggings or something, whatever, but I'll be all right. But um, I do want to move from here because, like I said, they don't want to fix anything in here, and I'm not going to continue to pay them and them not fix nothing. For what? My utility bills last winter, before I was put on a budget, were between six and $800 a month. Now that is outrageous, y'all. Excuse me. So they have a lot of work to do to this house anyway. So I'm looking for something small with everything included, like a studio, whatever. And Abby is coming with me. If she can't, I will not move into that place. I'll just have to keep looking. But I'm not giving my cat away. Sarah gave me that cat. The other two cats, I'm going to either find homes for them <clears throat> or I'm going to de try to de-flee them myself because they don't like for you to bring a cat to the Humane Society with fleas. And I understand that. That's common sense. And get them to a no-kill um, facility and hopefully they'll be adopted. However, Kendall is pregnant and I told Ariana that would happen she doesn't seem to care 
So this is on me with these cats. And it's okay. I'll get through it. I'm not happy about it because when we went to take the other cats that I had, when the little girl had the cat kittens, Ariana had the, the opportunity to take her cats because she does not know how to take care of an animal. But she didn't. Oh, Grandma, I'll take care of them. I, I knew I was making a mistake, but I went ahead and let her keep them, and bam, now look where I'm at. It's getting ready to get winter time, and I'm not going to have them out in the cold. Simple as that. So, that's on my plate. Huh. And that's not no minor thing on my plate, because uh, i got to deflee them all, and then i got to <clears throat> make an appointment. You have to make an appointment, and hopefully they have space to take the cats. If not, well, I guess I'll be stuck with a couple cats until they do. And feeding them, like I told Ari, I can't afford to feed uh, those two and, our, and Abigail. I can't. But there's, uh, I found a couple resources for free pet food, thank God, so I'm gonna look into that. But I just wanted to let you guys know how I'm doing, what's going on. You know, um, I've been really stressed and um, emotional over my granddaughter and it's just it seems like when I try to help people they shit on me every time family or no family they shit on me every single time every single person I've tried to let come here out of the cold homeless somebody whatever the case may be they've they've shit on me so when Ariana shit on me then that's family that was that was it I drew the line. No more. I don't care who you are. If you got ten babies, I'm sorry. I cannot help you. Go to, there's plenty of places to take your kids and they'll help you find a place to live. But Kelly's can't do that no more. I'm focusing on Kelly, my future, and the future of some women that need help staying clean. That's my goals. That being said, I love all of you. God bless all of you. <clears throat> um, when <clears throat> I figure out the nonprofit stuff and we get mo to moving forward a little bit for more forward, I am going to put up um, my cash app and stuff because we will need help like purchasing. I got to go paint, like I said, this weekend a couple of the rooms in this house that she has and um I gotta try to find beds and things like that clothes and just it's it's going to be a challenge but I'm not asking you guys for money for me or to help me in any kind of way so get that out of your head because I get my own money I make my own money and I'm even going to put some of my money into this project so, that being said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. And, like I said, I love all of you, trolls and all. God bless you all. I wish you all the best through the holidays because they're coming up quick. We only got, what, two months? And it's going to be uh, Halloween and then Thanksgiving and Christmas. Please be safe. Through the Memorial, uh, is it Memorial Day is coming up? Yeah, I think Memorial Day. I don't know, Labor Day or Memorial Day, whatever it is, coming up. Be safe. No drinking and driving, y'all. I hate that. I don't like that at all. It's dangerous. Please don't drink and drive. And stay focused. And I'll keep all y'all covered in prayer. And everybody sleep with angels. Good night. God bless.